Action SA has slammed Tony Mayor Randall Williams for wanting to award a 26 billion rand tender to an Australian company to refurbish two power plants in the city. The tender will be for green energy to prevent reliance on ESCOM. The proposal has received backlash from political parties, including the ANC, EFF and coalition partner Action SA. Williams has been accused of trying to bully staff into approving the contract. Gauteng Cooperative Governance MEC Lebogang Maile says these are damning allegations against Williams and his demanded answers from the mayor. Action SA saying it will approach the public protector to investigate. We're not going to collapse coalitions because the residents of these municipalities have spoken. They want coalitions. Whatever hardships we endure within the coalition, we will deal with within the coalition. But we're not going to subject the residents of Chwane to collapsing governments, and we're not going to subject them to ANC return to government. Action SA is clear. If you want to look, please see in our constitution. We are very clear. We exist to remove the ANC from government and put in place alternatives. We will never let that happen. But as Bongani has correctly said, we do not have a coalition. We do not have a problem with a coalition in Chwane. We have a problem with the mayor of Chwane. And what we will now do is we will collect the evidence that is before us and we will ensure that that evidence is provided to the appropriate law enforcement authorities, to the public protector, to national treasury, and to every organ of state responsible for looking at these particular matters. And we will do so openly and without any delay. Well, for more on the story, we're joined by Tswani EFF Chairperson Obageng Ramabodo. Obageng, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. So what is it that you as members of the opposition noticed about this particular contract that raised your eye, particularly when it comes to the allegations of corruption here? Good evening, Kathy and the viewers. You know, we, we have received this... Uh, proposal by the mayor in council because in terms of the rules the mayor is allowed to come and table reports so he tabled this report three months back and we were against this report in day one when he tabled this report part of the things that we were against is the process that he took because we've noticed that he avoided to go through the processes of an open tender and he said this must be an unsolicited bid we were against that because we are of the view that the project that he was bringing to council is more like IPPs. There's nothing special about that project. There are municipalities such as their metro in Cape Town who are doing that project. So we were surprised that the mayor, why he insisted that this thing must be an unsolicited bid without an open tender so that everyone who can provide the same services can be allowed in terms of the legislation to bid up for that uh, project. He refused, and the Action SA that he spoke about, they fought in council. But ourselves, as the EFF, we were clear that we won't support that project. Since we thought that he won't even table it again, we were surprised on Tuesday when he called the special council, of course, through the speaker's office. Then the one item that was on the agenda was the same item. Then we fought the in council. Fortunately, we received a whistleblower from Mr. X who gave us a recording as the EFF caucus the day before the council. Then we played the recording in council where the mayor is head instructing and bullying uh, officials on how he wants that tender to be unsolicited bid. There's no law that allows councillors to be part of the procurement processes. Neither there's no law that allows the mayor to tell the administrators on how the tenders must be advertised in so on. So, so just to be clear, Obaking, is the issue here the cost of the contract or is it the fact that they hasn't seen, uh, they, they hasn't uh, seemed to be due process followed when it comes to procuring the contract? Now, on the side of the EFF, we are clear that the issue is that we don't allow privatization of energy in the city of Swane. Because that that he wants to do, he wants to lock the people of Swane in a contract of 30 years with uh, one uh, company consortium of uh, the name Raymond Campbell. Raymond Campbell, who comes with the Australian company, 
We are told in confidence that Raymond Campbell is a close family friend of uh, Mayor Randall Williams. And when he comes to your show, you must ask him about Raymond Campbell. We want him to deny because with us, we have an evidence of their communication, personally so, that they are visiting each other. He wanted to bring Mr. Campbell to be the one who leads the consortium of the, 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 the project of Rival and Pretoria West. We, we, we don't agree. That is an IPP. And we are clear on that. We rather build a strong uh, capacity of electricity internal in the city. Uh, we must we rather get an entity that will be providing electricity for the people of Tshwan, creating jobs and making sure that the stability in the city, than getting Mr. Uh, Raymond, who will just take a land for 30 years. We are told that uh, Randall pride himself that that project is his retirement project. We don't know. But that's why we went and opened a case against him, because we suspect uh, corruption in all this uh, project that Randall wanted to bring to council. Obakeng Ramabodo, the 20 EFF Regional Chairperson. Let's leave it there for tonight.